हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू द वेरी फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ यूनिटी थ्री डी यहाँ पे हम जो है वो यूनिटी का एक प्रोजेक्ट uh, स्टार्ट करेंगे uh, किस तरह से हम uh, एक नया प्रोजेक्ट बनाते हैं कैसे उसको सेव करते हैं और कैसे फिर सीन की सेटिंग्स आगे यूनिटी uh, में की जाती हैं उस पर हम आज स्टार्ट करेंगे यूनिटी uh, uh, जो है उस में uh, कोई भी गेम सीन बनाने के लिए यू नीड टू हैव द टूल फॉर दैट यू शुड हैव यूनिटी हब एज वेल एज द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ यूनिटी दैट यू आर गोइंग टू यूज़ यूनिटी हब कनेक्ट यू विद डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स एज वेल एज इट विल गिव यू द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एक्टिवेट योर लाइसेंस इट विल मेक इट विल इट विल ऑल्सो शो सम डिफरेंट मॉड्यूल्स दैट यू वॉन्ट टू डाउनलोड और एड Uh, later on, uh, for example, Android SDK etc. Uh, first of all, I will go and open Unity Hub over here. Uh, in Unity Hub, uh, you're going to see a list of projects over here. Um, maybe if you if 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 you're just starting, this list uh, might be empty. So what are you going to do? First of all, you'll uh, 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 give your username and password over here in this option and you will uh, sign in uh, using uh, using the same user id you have uh, given while installing unity and uh, then you have to remember that user id and password uh, secondly you have to activate the license you have to go to the uh, settings menu and uh, over here in the license management Uh, make sure you are connected to the internet uh, and uh, obviously um, uh, your sign in should be there so uh, over here you will click activate new license and you will click unity personal and over here there are two options you have to click i don't use unity in professional professional capacity so just select like this and just click done so it will activate the license and now uh, you can also go into uh, other options for example in installs you can add more modules like i said uh, you can add uh, different uh, uh, modules for uh, uh, android built or ios built uh, uh, in this uh, i have three versions in this version of uh, unity that i am using i already have downloaded uh the android support and ios support okay so uh, to start a new project uh, in unity you will go to the projects option and you will create a new project for that you have to select the version that you want to uh, use uh, i will start uh, the new project in 2020 because i have all the modules in this version so i will just click this and uh, for a 3d uh, game you have to select 3d from here and uh, just uh, my um, my first game and save this in a particular location i have already created a folder in my drive um uh, you can create your own folder and you can uh, uh, give path of that particular fo folder over here and so that all your projects are saved in this folder acha idhar uh, we'll click this create button acha ab thodi si der lagegi unity will take some time to create a new project in my system it takes like 1 minute uh to build a new project to create a new project sorry let me just uh come back quickly okay so here we go uh with our new project uh, uh when the new project is started you will see uh, different components of uh, uh different uh, components of this particular layout probably when uh, you will open your uh, new project it will have a default layout like this i have chosen a 2 by 3 layout so 
in this layout uh, you're going to see two uh, windows uh, here is the scene window and this is the game window and uh, whatever game objects you are going to bring in this scene uh, will be shown for will be shown uh, at uh, game window um, because uh, game window what uh, shows whatever uh, is lying just in front of the camera just uh, let me show you a uh, few examples but before that i need to tell you that uh, there are four other important uh, uh, components of this layout for example uh, we have this hierarchy over here we will see different game objects that are part of this uh, scene view whatever game object i'm going to add will also be added to this hierarchy then uh, we are uh, going to see uh, this uh, project tab whatever assets i am going to import uh, will be saved in assets folder and we can uh, access those assets by clicking any subfolder and we can see the list of uh, different assets in a particular folder and then uh, this inspector menu this is very important menu uh, whatever properties a particular game object has can be seen in this inspector menu uh, we'll just uh, click the game object the particular game object and uh, uh, suppose i have this main camera i just click this and i will see the inspector of this main camera where i can see the transform of main camera transform basically shows the position rotation and scale of a particular 3d object in x y and z dimensions and uh, then obviously there is a camera inside the main camera and there is an audio listener and uh, secondly we have a directional light if i'll open the inspector of directional light again we'll have a transform the light component and that's it so uh, we can also add a particular component to any game object over here so let me bring the very first game object uh, here i'll go to the game object tab and i'll bring a 3d object for example a cube so when i'll bring a cube inside this uh, uh, when i'll select the cube the cube will be added to the scene view as well as the game view but the game view is that particular view which is seen by the camera just imagine that um, instead of camera it's your own eye and you're going to capture your eye is going to capture whatever you know is in front of the camera if i uh, double click the camera i can see that camera is lying over here if i move uh, the z axis of this camera back you can see that as camera is moving back the cube is getting farther and farther you know so basically the camera is moving here not the cube and uh, so uh, if i'll click the cube and i'll if i'll click uh, if i'll move the z dimensions of the by the way this uh, red arrow is the x axis so i'm i'm going to show why i'm going to tell you why uh, your uh, uh, x axis is shown in this way okay so uh, this uh, blue uh, arrow is for the z axis red is for the x and this green is for the y now uh, uh, if i have connected a mouse with uh, my device uh, what i will do uh with the left with the left click of the mouse uh or with the right click of the mouse uh, if i if i select this hand gesture i can use the left click as well but if if i have not selected it i will do uh i will click this right click of the mouse and i can just rotate it and with the wheel click i can move it like this so now the camera is exactly you know uh just like it's there in the game view now the camera is um just behind the cube over here okay it was already behind the cube but we were uh, watching it from this perspective actually we were you know we were looking at it from this perspective so in the scene view we can change the perspective and we can just check whatever our dimensions are we can see what is behind a particular game object so for that we need a control of the mouse and we can just rotate things around nothing will move 
only our perspective and our view will be changed okay so uh, but if i'll move anything like if i'll select the cube and i'll move it it's x axis so now you can see the game view is also changing or if i'll uh, change its y axis so you can see in the game view the cubes uh, y axis is changing and similarly you can also see that if i i will select the cube and i will open its transform if i'll change its x axis you can see the position this position is also changing okay and similarly the y when when i'll try to change the y axis the y will change and then when i will try to change the z axis only z will change this is how uh the transform can be changed in different positions or i can select the rotate tool as well and i can just rotate it uh you know in 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 x axis or uh y axis or z axis okay so there are different uh, options uh that can be checked uh once we will start making a particular game okay uh one more thing is very important if i'll select this cube i i have to make its all its rotation zero and in its uh position in x should also be zero y in in y if it's zero so it's going to go a little up and in z it's is it zero let's keep it zero then we'll check uh its uh, position later on or we can change its position later on uh the camera uh rotation and all the rotation position uh all the rotation is zero but uh, the position of the camera should be you know it should be up to you uh, wherever you want to put the camera and from where ever you want to capture a particular game object okay so uh, right now uh this is my perspective and now if i want to keep the game view and the scene view uh uh in a same manner if 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 i want to uh make my game look exactly like my scene what i will do i will right click the camera and i'll select align with view so this camera will be now capturing exactly what has been set in this uh perspective if i set it like this for example again it will show me this perspective uh this game view is basically that particular view which the player is going to see okay so camera should be in such a position where you want the player to see a particular game object inside the game theek hai to it's uh, as i said ke camera jo hai ye ek aankh ki tarah hai theek hai jo kuch ye camera is waqt capture kar raha hai theek hai agar main camera ko ko dekhu to camera is waqt इस डायरेक्शन में क्यूब को कैप्चर कर रहा है अगर मैं कैमरा को लेफ्ट राइट मूव करूंगी तो इसका मतलब ये है कि कैमरा इस वक्त वैसे आपको नीचे बैक एंड फोर्थ नज़र आ रहा है इसका मतलब ये है कि कैमरा जो है इसका एक्स ये है और क्यूब का एक्स जो है वो थोड़ा सा यस यहाँ पे हम लाते हैं ठीक है तो दिस इज द एक्स ऑफ द कैमरा एंड यहाँ पे Z चेंज हो रहा है इसका और यहाँ पे X चेंज हो रहा है तो कैमरे का X जहाँ चेंज होगा क्यूब का और कैमरे का X सेम होना चाहिए ठीक है ताकि आपका जो डायमेंशनस हैं या, या या आपकी जो भी सेटिंग्स हैं वो अलाइंड हों राइट अच्छा इसमें कुछ चीज़ें ऐसी हैं जो विद द पैसेज ऑफ टाइम आप लर्न करेंगे आ, बताने से शायद उस तरह समझ जाए जिस तरह आप प्रैक्टिस करके और माउस के डिफरेंट स्क्रोल्स को चेक करके Uh, कर सकते हैं ठीक है अच्छा यहाँ पे हम uh, इसको वापस लाते हैं और क्यूब को और uh, अपनी अलाइनमेंट को uh, जैसा हम देखना चाहते हैं यहाँ से कर लेते हैं ये बाय द वे मैं माउस के व्हील क्लिक को मैं अगर करूँ तो वो इस तरह से मूव होता है और अगर माउस के राइट क्लिक को करूँ तो ये मुझे अप एंड डाउन थ्री में घुमाता है ठीक है तो दिस इज़ हाउ आई कैन चेंज माई परस्पेक्टिव सो अब ये अगर परस्पेक्टिव रखना चाह रही हूँ तो वट आई विल डू आई विल अगेन राइट क्लिक द मेन कैमरा एंड अलाइन इट द व्यू अच्छा अब हम इस क्यूब को कलर देना चाहते हैं आई वॉन्ट टू गिव 
it some kind of color for that uh, what I will do um, I will go to the assets folder over here uh, we can create and we can import different assets uh, this asset folder already has a scenes folder where this sample scene where I am working right now is saved so I can uh, save the scene as a different name and I can save it uh, with the same default name as sample scene okay so if I save different names then I can save it in the scenes ke folder I can save cube scene kar deti hun, so now when I will save it I have two uh, scenes in the scenes folder cube scene and sample scene I can uh, now that my current scene is the cube scene I can delete the sample scene so that I it should not confuse me okay now in the assets folder if I want to create a color what I will do I will uh, go to the again I will right click the asset folder go to the create option and over here I will make a folder name materials and sometimes the materials folder is created by default when I create a particular material but I will make my own folder as well I will select this folder I'll right click it and I'll go to create again and over here I'll select this material now this material is going to be a color for example I want to give it a, a, a red color so okay now its name is red but its color is not red so I will what I will do I will go to this material and I will change its albedo to red okay so now uh, whatever bright good red color you want to choose just select it and I'll just drag and drop this red color over here okay all right now I can see the directional light is giving me a very dull kind of uh, look so okay currently it's fine uh, okay. I can change its uh, rotation and I can see wherever I uh, feel it's looking better I can select that okay uh, now uh, I have this cube in front of me and by the way this lecture is only for the beginners like if somebody doesn't know uh, how to start working in unity uh, it will be very helpful for them now I will bring uh, another 3d object it's a plane so now you will see this, this plane uh, is a little higher or the the, the cube is a little you know uh, submerged inside this plane so this we will do this we will do the plane or the cube or the cube or the cube or the cube whatever is you know you think it's right so I have done the cube or the cube and I want to keep my perspective here why because I want the cube here all the faces faces almost 2 to 3 faces so here I have to align with view up now I have this plane but this is very dull of course so what I will do I will bring a grass texture as for that I need to import a grass texture I will go to the assets folder and I'll import a new asset uh, I have already downloaded a simple grass texture over here uh, from uh, free textures uh, if you can uh, you know you can download the free textures from any um, website uh, which uh, uh, give royalty free uh, textures so you can easily download them without any copyright issues I'm just going to download it over here in the asset folder now for that you can place it in a materials folder or you can create a texture folder separately for that uh, so now this grass texture uh, why I am creating these folders because I want you know to uh, I want all these textures and materials to stay here in a sorted way uh, otherwise I, if I'll just directly uh, place them in asset folder there will be a lot of different kinds of assets and it will be uh, too difficult for me to you know search them if I want them again in this project 
uh, I'll go to the textures folder and I'll just drag and drop this grass over here now you will see that uh, if I'll even if I'll not increase the size of the plane right now even this grass texture looks very stretchy and it's, it's so stretched and you know it's not normal it's not looking normal so what will I do for that? Let me just increase the scale of the plane. Plane, let me rename it as ground. Why? Because then it will be more convenient to recognize what it is. And its uh, scale, jo hai, wo hum, uh, let me you know increase the scale. Achha, this ground, this x is this ground, this is this Okay, because camera is Z to capture kar raha hai. Toh, pehli baat toh ye hai ke main iska perspective thik karti hoon why? Because I don't want ke jo dekhne wale ho confuse ho. Okay, so ek toh hum yahaan se is sarah jate hain taakhe Z piche ki taraf hi rahe. Aur X jo hai wo right side pe rahe. Aur तो अब मैं प्रस्पेक्टिव भी ये कर देती हूँ, ठीक है? ताकि आपका कैमरा जो है, वो आपके एक्स एक्सिस को राइट पॉजिटिव राइट में रखे देखे, वाई को जो है वो अपवर्ड्स देखे और जी आपका बैक पे चला जाए, ठीक है? जी इस द डेप्थ एक्चुअली, अच्छा जी। सो so, uh, मैं इसकी क्यूब uh, की जी पोजीशन को कम कर सकती हूँ, लाइक like, मै you know, minus. इसको मैं zero अगर करूँ, ये बढ़ ही है जी. इसको मैं minus seven कर लेती हूँ, ताकि थोड़ा सा करीब हो जाए, ठीक है? और अब जो है वो हम grass जो हमारा plane था, इसके scale को हमने five यहाँ से five किया हुआ था. Z को भी हम 10 कर देते हैं ताकि वो थोड़ा सा हमें लगे कि जी ये ग्राउंड अब आप देखिए कि दिस ग्राउंड टेक्सचर लुक्स वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेच्ड ठीक है तो उसके लिए हम क्या करेंगे विल सेलेक्ट दिस ग्राउंड एंड विल गो एट द एंड ऑफ यू नो ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स यहां पे जो लास्ट कंपोनेंट ग्रास को ग्राउंड uh, को मिला हुआ है दिस इज अ ग्रास मटेरियल एक्चुअली which I have dragged and dropped. जैसी मैंने इसको drag and drop किया था, ये यहाँ पे add हो गया था इस component. ठीक है? अच्छा, अब यहाँ पे I will open this and I will go into the main maps, not in the secondary map. Go into the main maps and just increase the tiling. X में हम इसकी tiling को 20 कर देते हैं और Y में भी हम इसको 20 करके देखते हैं. Now you can see that the grass looks a little, you know, you know, better. हम 30 पे भी इसको कर सकते हैं और 40 पे भी करके देख सकते हैं. Just check with the different, you know, sizes of the tiles. Different number of the tiles actually. ये size नहीं है, ये है कि X और Y में number of tiles हैं. तो अब आप देखिए कि grass texture की tiles यहाँ पे लग गई हैं. और uh, it's looking much better now. Okay, so this is, uh, um, you know, it's, it's uh, for the beginning, you can uh, practice ke cube ko kaise set karna hai, alignment kaise karni hai, camera ke saath. Aur uh, isme important cheez ye hai ke agar aap ye wale jo tools hai, all these tools are very important. Uh, if you are not connected with a four button mouse, then this hand tool is also very important. And then this move tool is obviously very important. You can move things left, right, up and down. And you can also move things by changing the transform position, you know. But uh, moving it from this tool is also very uh, handy, very useful. Why? Because sometimes we don't know the exact number. We want to place it somewhere where it looks better in front of the camera. So it's always... Uh, handy to use these tools you can use the rotate tool as well uh, if suppose you want to give this look so uh, you can rotate things and from here you can change the scale uh, this gray box can collectively enlarge this box 
ओके एंड इफ़ यू विल जस्ट चेंज द एक्स तो फिर ये इस तरह से बार बन जाएगी ठीक है बट अ क्यूब हैज़ ऑल द साइड्स इक्वल तो फिर उस वजह से वो उसकी एक्स वाई जी इक्वल होती है अगर मैं यूँ करूँ तो भी उसका साइज़ बढ़ सकता है और अगर यूँ हम करें तो भी बढ़ सकता है राइट सो दिस इज़ दिस वॉज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो एंड सेकेंडली जो एक इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ इस लेक्चर के लिए रह गई है वो ये है कि आपने यहाँ पर मैक्स uh, ये जो सेटिंग्स हैं ये बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट हैं ये यहाँ पे मेक श्योर दैट म्यूट ऑडियो क्लिक ना हुआ हुआ हो क्योंकि बाद में वेन वी विल एड ऑडियोज टू द गेम तो जो है वो uh, आवाज़ नहीं आती समटाइम्स यू नो सो मेक श्योर दैट इट्स नॉट क्लिकड और इनेबल्ड एंड देन इफ दिस मैक्माइज ऑन प्ले इज़ इनेबल्ड सपोज लाइक दिस सो वट विल हैपन द प्ले सीन विल बी ऑन द कम्प्लीट होल स्क्रीन फुल स्क्रीन सो लाइक दिस सी सो यू कैन सी द होल गेमिंग सीन इन अ प्रॉपर वे एंड देन देर इज दिस पॉज बटन इफ आई विल जस्ट Uh, unclick this maximize on play and directly play it to ab ye play mode mein hai this game is in the play mode and this is the pause mode actually the game is still running but we can pause it and see the position and the changes uh, of different game objects which is currently not happening because uh, this is just a simple scene with no inputs uh, from the user and no movement and nothing you know so it's it's just a starting uh, uh scene where you just need to place different game objects and change their colors and textures and you will learn to place them properly in a in a gaming scene uh, you can try uh, replacing this cube by a sphere a capsule or a cylinder one thing is also very important that this ground is a plane and in unity the plane if you will increase this y uh y value of the plane in the scale it has no effects only x and z of a plane can be changed like if i'll change it to 50 you will see no effects so the maximum value is 1 and it should be 1 okay so this is something uh, that should uh, be kept in mind and uh, now in our next lecture we are going to see how we can add different uh components further in this scene right okay ji see you in the next video allah hafiz